What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as of France. So to pick up where we left off, the treacherous Württemberg forces have, sal have, uh, have fallen back towards the southeast and then head northeast to head off my forces under Jean Manger. Or Manger or Monge. And we're gonna be sitting right we're gonna be sitting pretty hard pretty far back. And we're going to rely on our overwhelming firepower to push as many of them back as possible. They are numerous, um, but they have no artillery. They have a fair amount of cavalry, which I'll be sure to pick out with my howitzers. Um, yes, I'll be relying on my artillery and fire by rank temples. Um, if I win, then I'll be in a very good position. Um, cause they'll only have one small stack near their capital, so it makes them less likely to push and range out um, against me so it means I might be able to have them to the northwest up towards Amsterdam pushing in alrighty so I think I'm going to want my cannons here central on a hill provide some useful firing points canister shot I've got a good clear field of fire of all of my targets good so let's set up my first line, which I need to maximise my firepower. Let's put my grenadiers next to the guns. Let's put some line infantry next to them. Backed up by another unit of line infantry. Then right at the edge of the line, a unit of militia. Then on the right flank, I'm going to put a unit of. See, I think I want. I think hmm. unit of supporters on the right on the edge is a bit of an anchor to support this unit of militia and attach them to attach them to this unit. Unit of militia on the left here. Good. Howitzers fairly central. General in the middle. Run! Run away! Run away! I don't think so, sir. So, folks fire the cavalry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, folks fire the cavalry, because they are what could do the most amount of damage. So, 87. Okay, well, firstly, actually, what I want to do is make my cannons just open fire onto their regular troops, have my howitzers be the things that pluck away at their cavalry. Every handful of cavalry I destroy is a handy tool for me. So I wanna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this flank back in response to the movement of the cavalry. Hopefully get some good shots off here. Nope, not a one. Terrible shooting. Let's get them to target this unit instead. I suppose can form square, which is good to know. Another howitzer volley, which might look marginally better. Nope. Still no hits. I might spend my time focusing on regular troops then. 
Oh, that looked like a good set of shots. Oh, eight kills. Not great, not terrible. No, I do want to focus. No, I do want to keep hitting their cavalry. It's pretty defective though. Reduced some artillery, reduced them down by about 30, by that infantry unit by about 30 kills. Someone set these guys to target this unit of Hussars. Oh, there we go, that was more of a good shot. So let's get them to target the Hussars as well, because as they've passed into their sights, because they're named. Gorsi has ours, so Gorsi, Gorchi, one of the two. Good, couple of nice kills. I'll set them to go start shooting back at the infantry. So see will they pull off something more impressive. One my cannons shots going in or it sounded like they were going in but yeah the eye is doing a bunch of maneuvering so I'm going to speed up time because it looks like they're doing their usual habit of you know going oh I'm going to sit here I'm going to do this 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 There we go, make them a stationary target, extreme range. So they should be able to fairly reliably knock off a few horses every volley. Unless of course they miss and then they hit the militia unit in front of them. There we go. Of course, because they did attack me, so I'm not going to go anywhere. Once this guy gets to the end, chances are they're all going to do a... Uh, they're going to surge forward the way the AI does. Yep, there we go. Get my Zars to aim at these howitz, these cavalry. Actually, let's go to normal speed now. So these guys are going straight for my guns. So I'd like to knock them out before they... Okay, so that's, a, that's a terrible volley. So let's load canister shot. Hopefully you can load it before they get within range. Can artillery unit covering it right on the flank. Fifty-five men. To be honest, I'm tempted to hold on to the canister shot volley for if someone else gets close. No. Just get forward and reload. Charging on the flank. Square way too late. 
But at least they're now charging that unit, which... Once these squares get into position... Okay, let's get them out of square. Spin them in a good position to fire on the guys that are coming right at them. You target that unit, foot line infantry, and fire at will. Artillery batteries, you focus fire those units. Alright, get these guys back in the line. And get these guys firing rapidly. All of my effort needs to be hitting this flank. So they're trying to, they're assaulting my grenadiers. route. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted to see. They go charge and fire at the militia. Just get them hitting that target on the flank. Let's get you cast shot hitting this unit of militia. How does my line go? Winning slightly all across the line. Good Western European mercenary Western European regiment is retreating. Okay, so some troops are coming back. Call the fifth regiment of Swiss grenadiers. as they're firing nicely. Another attempt to charge me at point blank range into melee. Oh, point blank volley. Oh, not into them. Let's get my artillery to hit that unit. Get them to hit that unit of line infantry with canister shot. Okay, let's get the U track instead. Hit that unit right on the flank. Switch to round shot. Target their general. Still standing strong. Stronger than their militia.
So let's move up my troops. I want to keep my grenadiers with the with the uh, the artillery because it seems like that's where they belong. God, they look like they're beautiful looking troops. Fire! Too dead. <laughs> it's a good looking general's bodyguard unit, though. Eh? Bringing those back into line. It's the last pocket of troops. You should be shaken, there's not many of you left. See what, for such a dire battle, some of these guys can afford to loll around with their rifles over their shoulders. What's going on, guys? General's coming within range. Good, good, good. Let's drop some howitzer shells on you. Because, to be honest, because they're all that's left, I'm going to triple speed it. Yeah, there you go. That's the end of them. Good. We've sent the army packing. So what this means is that this army is now... It's the army I had in... Yeah, deploy... Oh, look at that. 338 lost for me, 2,000 lost for them. Now I have the numbers advantage. So the, I've got an army to, this, to the west of Cologne. Rebellions grow in strength over time. Rebellion? The left unchecked. Always act quickly in these instances, otherwise the uprising may capture a region. Okay, so let's take... Just do that. <laughs> get them back into Jerusalem, get them within range of these guys. Chase them down. Get those guys to recruit more stuff. Critically, get back to Europe. This army here, really basic. Hold there. To be honest, actually, you're probably better off doing that. You should move south to threaten uh, the main city. Or the, well, Strasbourg, and then push on to Stuttgart. Is Austria at war with Württemberg? No, they are allied. Let's trade with... Oh, that's not good. So they're at war. Hanover's got some artillery and some infantry. So they'll go support uh, the army of Jean Monger. Votre Majesté? Good, they're going to push down towards Strasbourg. Rebellion in Syria. They could capture it. If they do, that's fine. Um, I've got bigger problems. So let's go to... Hmm, where's the best place to go? Crew general. Let's get two unit of guns and a howitzer. And then, can I get a cool cavalry unit? Hussars de Becheni. Hussars. There we go, let's do that. 
Good. Let's get these infantry. They can join Jean. Maintain siege for now. Right, let's hit and turn. I'd like to get that army back down to to the south quickly. Just to plug the gaps. Fortunately, Austria, at least Austria didn't go to war with us over it. No. Although maybe that might not have been a bad idea. Because Trinidad Tobago is not necessarily a very useful region. At least it's its own little island. I might, might actually go on offer than that. To be honest, I need to, I need to prepare for war in Europe. As much as I would like to focus on other parts of the world, the, uh, the world has a say. No. I don't want peace. If I can knock out Baghdad, I'll have a friendly eastern flank in Persia. I'll start trading with them. I'll secure the Mediterranean. That's what I'm going to do. Because Spain's my ally, so they've got the West. Can knock out the Ottomans, take out the Italians. Create a new Roman Empire, except a Franco-Roman Empire. Trouble is, though, it's not necessarily it's not an, a particularly wealthy region, but you know you can only do you can only use you can only uh, play with the hand you dealt. Trade agreement, and you want me to give you the Leeward Islands counter offer? Why don't we just trade? No, oh, fair enough. Louisianans are still beasts, pushing back the Cherokee. Cherokee, move back into the hills. Ah, oh, block the development of ports. Württemberg haven't moved. Oh, I'm going to let them have it. One water is all of it. Yeah, that's fine. There is a port in this region. Because they're just rebels at the end of the day. Select the type of port to construct here. Replenish and lay siege. Because they hate they hate the rebels as well. Will provide an income. For Rostock, not a priority. Maintain siege. Just gonna I'm content to starve them out for now. Construction port, Leon and Savoy have got ironworks. Good, good, good. Calais is going to be developed to another port, which will probably build into a fishing port, I think. I've got a military dock, two trade docks. Which I must so much get a mail which get another trade dock. Population growth is fine. Attack advance, interchangeable parts. Lovely. So You all have gone on to machine tools, haven't you? National debt. No, I do machine tools. It gives me plus eight percent bonus to town wealth from all buildings without having any um, morale penalties at the minute, which is quite big. So your links each to there. Your links each to there. Okay, let's do some tactical investing. Iron Workshop is a good bet. Do I have any... I need to build... I need some rakes, that's what I need. 
Need some rakes to sh to snipe that um, Protestant missionary in Hanover, because that'll be stoking up religious unrest. Check a scene, man of business. Fine. Let's see how I'm miles away from getting a navy until I sort this out. If I sort this out, then I'll be. To be honest, I could be quite well placed for uh, attacking further east. If I need to. So, yeah, I've got Canids marching because all you can really research. You're going to get a um, new model bayonet drill. Plus, two to charge bonus is pretty good. Um, but so are cool units. Cool units is also cool. Bordeaux, advanced irrigation. Meh. Don't really worry about that. Instead, go for punch card loom. Uh, wealth from textile buildings. Let's hit end turn again. Oh yes, they're chasing down a uh, the brave seven men that are manhandling an artillery piece across the continent. Sostia's driving eastwards. Hopefully, as long as they don't stop and go, wait a minute, and realise I'm here too. Do you have to be careful of Spain? Need to get that army out of Lisbon as well. Build a garrison, get that army back to the front. I hate it when that happens so much. Ah, oh, Cherokee absolutely spanked Louisiana. Right. No! Okay, good. They've not got to the port. They've not been able to land just yet. Aha! So this force has attacked me, which... Oh, that's going to get absolutely chewed up. But looking at the timer, I think we're at the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time as we continue our war against the treacherous Württembergese. Württembergians, I'm going to call them from now on. <laughs> see you guys.